All right, hey y'all, I'm here with Miss Meredith and Miss Mandy. And today we're gonna to be talking about the new Jane Ardell blushes. So we have each picked our top four blushes from Jane, and we're gonna be telling you why we love them the most. Mandy, do you wanna get started with one of your top sure. favorites? Why don't I just go with like my favorite of all, which is Sheer Honey. It's what I have on my cheeks today, and I used it, so. <laughs> <laughs> This is Sheer Honey. It is a matte color and it is, it's a little bit on the warmer side. Like I would put it in the peach category, but it's still really, really neutral. I think you could wear it with any eye look and any lip color. And it is very, very smooth. I'm going to look, I'm going to be, I'm going to be that person. And I'm going to swatch. That's Sheer Honey. How pretty. Mm. So pretty. Yeah. It's my favorite. I love it for I love that one. eyeshadow, blush, all of the above. We let Mandy choose it. We all love it. <laughs> <laughs> it was the biggest fight. Yes. <laughs> okay. So with mine, I'm going to go with one of the more neutral ones. So we're going to go with Whisper. When I say like neutral, it's one of the lighter colors. It's a peachy and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. Let's see. We'll have to zoom in more on these. But this is, it's very, very pretty. I can't swatch like Mandy. But you can do it. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Um, let's see. Does that pick up now? Maybe a little bit. But yes, we've been swatching all day too. So it's a little bit hard to swatch it over swatches. But it's very, very sheer. It's very pretty. And I use it as like an everyday color. Or, and Mandy was telling me before this, when you use this one, you really don't need a highlighter either because it kind of picks up on both. Mm -hmm. So that's mine. Meredith. I'm going to follow the peach train because that is totally what I am drawn to. And Copper Wind is probably my second favorite ever. And it is kind of like hers, but a little, it's matte, so there's no shimmer in it. And a little darker. So for somebody like me who has a little darker skin tone, it shows up a lot better. And I'm kind of like you, I'm not okay. a swatcher. It's not going to happen. <laughs> See, <laughs> there's a tiny bit of color on there. Um, but just great all around on almost everyone. Okay, let's um, let's go away from the peaches for a second <laughs> and do a pink, and I'll talk about my favorite pink, which is clearly pink. And this is one that I've talked about before about how it's kind of scary in the pan. Like if somebody that's not used to either blush in general or pinks, especially opens this, gonna be like, yeah, you're not coming near my face with that. But when you put it on the cheeks, it is, very reminiscent of a true flush, which is really what blush is supposed to do. It's supposed to mimic a flush like you just worked out or you just came in from the cold. And this mimics that very, now that's a he these are heavy swatches. They're obviously not gonna go on your cheeks like this, but it gives a good indication of the type of pink it is. And this is also matte. Um, and this is one of my favorite colors to use in the winter, especially because like I said, when you come in from the cold, you have that those like pink cheeks and this really mimics that really well. So clearly pink. And so I'll go pink as well. So this one I feel like is a little bit queen bee. I feel like it's a little bit like the clearly pink, but it has a little bit of shimmer as well. Not as much as like the whisper, but it's a very pinky pink, but I feel like it can also be very forgiving. Um, it's very this. cool. Oh, wow. It's Look like a blue tone pink. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's, it's very, very pretty. And I use this one actually a lot, but I feel like, I mean, like she said, that's a heavy swatch, but when I put it on, I just feel like, like she said, it looks like a little bit of flush, looks like a little bit pinky, and especially because I usually go for like pink lips, pink mm -hmm. blush, light eyes. Um, I feel like it's a great when I'm going for a pinky. I especially like that color on blondes. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's very, very pretty. And I feel like brown eyed blondes mm -hmm. can get away with a little bit more pink yep. than some blue eyed blondes. <laughs> I think my second choice surprised me because when I see mocha mm -hmm. as a color, I immediately think dark brown. brown. I'm just yeah. like, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And this is such a pretty brown. It's like a pink undertone. Mm -hmm. a um, and just, I can use it as an eyeshadow and it makes me so, 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 so happy. <laughs> so happy. And this one shows up so nice yeah, on my does. skin tone. So this is kind of a go-to for me. I love that one. That's another That's favorite for eyeshadow. Love it. Another favorite favorite for eyeshadow is one that Meredith has on her eyes right now, and this is Sunset. <clears throat> and this looks darker in the pan than it applies because, and I'm glad that you're wearing it right now because I wanted people to be able to see it because obviously it's going to be a pretty dark swatch as well. But 
here's the thing. A dark blush is not always bad because we all have different skin tones, right? Like there are gonna be darker skin tones that cannot use some of these lighter blushes. This one they most definitely could. Um, it's so gorgeous. And I feel like this is appropriate all year long, but especially in the summer, because it gives that just like sun-kissed, warm vibes. And it's so pretty and so, so pretty on the eyes as well. If you have blue eyes, I don't even care if you wear this as a blush, get this for an eyeshadow. And thank you later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like that one looks so good when you're sun when you're like spray yes. tanned. Yes. I mean, when I get spray tanned, I'm like, they're like, how dark do you want to go? I'm like, as dark as you can get. It's it, dark. Baby. Yes. Let's go. Yep. Um, so I will go with my next one, which is cherry blossom. And so cherry blossom is more of like a peachy, but like tan type blush. How would you describe this? I would say it's it's neutral peach and it's got a sheen, but not a shimmer. Like there's a very slight very. sheen to it. Um, it's definitely not flat matte, but it's not as shimmery as some of the other ones either. So it's this one right here. Let's see, I'll make it a little darker. But it's just good for like an everyday, like put on blush, but it's not, you know, like a pink. It doesn't look like you do it, but it, you know, it gives you like a little bit of color. It kind of works as like a contour as well. So you could just do a one. And I just feel like it's really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. And especially with like, you know, again, dark eyes, blonde hair. And I just think it looks like as like a good without looking too makeup y type look. It's an effortless yeah. color to yeah. choose. That's, yeah. that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. Girl on the way. And then I'm gonna go kind of with like Mocha's sister, Jubonet. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's really, one. really close. I feel like it's a great color for you. And then it just it to me it has more of a plum undertone mm -hmm. versus that versus a pink undertone. So again, it's kind of an everyday, super, super easy to wear color. Yeah, it's very mobby. Very, very mobby. Mm -hmm. I thought you said mommy. <laughs> very, very, <laughs> very mommy, mommy mom. Girl, very <laughs> mommy. Over here. If you're feeling very mommy one day, just skip on doing it. <laughs> my winter. <laughs> my winter color, to be honest. <laughs> With your chimichangos. <laughs> Okay, uh, back on track with blushing. <laughs> All right, my last, oh, I love this my last favorite is Awake. And this is another effortless blush if you like more of a pink undertone. So this one is a little bit lighter than Clearly Pink. And it's a little bit more blue in undertones. It's a little bit more cool toned. So I have a lot of people ask me like, what's your favorite cool tone blush? This is definitely one of them. And again, it's lighter. It's not gonna be as scary to apply. So if you're someone either that has a heavy hand when you apply blush or just are scared to use it. I didn't wear blush for years. Cause I was like, I have red undertones. Like my cheeks are red. Why do I need blush? But by the time you put on, you know, foundation and all that kind of stuff, you need to add color back in, especially as we age because we lose pigment every year of our lives, like everything else. We lose everything we want, we gain everything we don't. Uh, so this is a really good effortless color if you like the pinks. So that is a wink. So my favorite, not full paint, but this is, out of all the ones I chose, this is my favorite for sure. So this was one is Barely Rose. And I just, it's just my everyday color. It's just, I feel like it looks like a cute very blush. Pretty. It's like a mauve pinky, just, I think it's just a very pretty color. Whatever else I'm doing with my makeup, it will go with it. You know what they call those? They call those, it's it's not the best phrase, but it makes sense. They call them dumb reaches. Oh, it's a, it's yeah. a dumb reach. Like you Honestly, just... everything in my life needs to be a dumb reach. <laughs> like, I don't want to think much about it. <laughs> I would want everything to be a right. dumb. I want That's it just, a dumb reach. This is like. it. This yeah. is it. Like, yeah. it's like when I'm doing it, I can grab this one. I cannot do it wrong. I cannot look like a clown. Right. It can just be, and it's pretty. It always it looks pretty. I always feel like after I use it, it looks good. So this is my favorite, Fairly Rose. Well, now I'm going to just say this is my dumb reach because <laughs> flawless. And I feel oh, like yeah. I look flawless when mm -hmm. I use it. And again, I feel like when I travel, my girlfriends can all grab it too. And yeah. every single person can wear it. It works. Yeah. Again, it's just kind of a more neutral. It's looking more tan there, but... It's actually a pretty neutral color for almost everyone. And no shimmer. If you didn't notice, all my picks were pretty matte. I kind of am not the biggest shimmer girl. It's the top. You know why I like hair. flawless? If you're super fair, that could even be like a semi-contour shade. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. It would be yeah. great. And it's a really pretty crease color for your eyes. Oh, yeah. Like that's a dumb reach when it comes to eyeshadow. Yeah. For sure. So it's yeah. a great travel companion, mm -hmm. that's what you're saying. It's all in one. <laughs> right. All right, ladies. Well, these are our favorite blushes and we would love to hear what y'all's are. And thank you for joining us. Bye.